Hi friends. In this video you will learn. What are the principal areas of preformulation research? We will discuss about the various physical properties that are considered during preformulation studies. This video is brought to you by Jayapal Reddy. From JP Pharma and Technical Tutorials channel. Please subscribe our channel. Before going to watch this video. Next. Second one is. Molecular adducts. During the process of crystallization, some compounds have a tendency to trap the solvent molecules. Molecular adducts can be classified into 1. Non-stoichiometric inclusion compounds 2. Stoichiometric solvates or hydrates Coming to Non-stoichiometric inclusion compounds in these crystal solvent molecules are entrapped within the crystal lattice and the number of solvent molecules are not included in stoichiometric number. Depending on the shape they are of three types. Channels. Layers. Clathrates or cage-like structure. Coming to. One channels. When the crystal contains continuous channels in which the solvent molecule can be included. For example urea forms channel. Then second type. Two layers. Here, solvent molecules are entrapped in between layers of crystals. Last one is. Three clathrate gauge. Solvent molecules are entrapped within the cavity of the crystal from all sides. Coming to. Second category. Stoichiometric inclusion compounds or stoichiometric adducts. This molecular complex has incorporated the crystallizing solvent molecules into specific sites within the crystal lattice and has stoichiometric number of solvent molecules complexed. What is meant by hydrates? When the incorporated solvent is water, the complex is called hydrates. Depending on the ratio of water molecules within a complex the following nomenclature is followed. Anhydrous colon 1 mole compound plus 0 mole water. Any hydrate, 1 mole compound plus half mole water. Monohydrate colon 1 mole compound plus 1 mole water. Dehydrate, 1 mole compound plus 2 moles water. What do you mean by solvates? When a solvent is other than water, the complex is called solvates. Then, we should learn about Properties of solvates or hydrates Generally, the anhydrous form of a drug has greater aqueous solubility than its hydrates. This is because the hydrates are already in equilibrium with water and therefore have less demand for water. For example anhydrous forms of theophylline and ampicillin have higher aqueous solubility than the hydrates. Non-aqueous solvates have greater aqueous solubility than the non-solvates. For example chloroform solvates of griseofulvin are more water-soluble than their non-solvate forms. In next video, you will learn about Analytical methods for characterization of solid forms. Thank you for watching our video. video. Yeah.